Hello everyone, this is Tara from The Sticker Garden. Welcome to my channel. I am so excited to be filming today's video. I will be showing you all the stickers I purchased for Halloween. I'm a huge, huge Halloween fan. I love decorating my house for Halloween. I take the costumes for my kids. We theme costumes as a family every year. I take it very, very seriously. <laughs> I also take the week of Halloween in my memory planner very seriously. I just, I love, love Halloween. I'm super excited to show you all these stickers. So let's just jump right on in. The shop is Letters to Apollo. I do have a discount code. It's Tara10 to save you 10% off your order. If you put my name in the notes of seller, you will receive my new fall freebie. It is on trans transparent matte paper in rose gold foiling. You have 10 pumpkin headers, some leaf and acorn sparkle clusters, leaf clusters, dot clusters, and then this beautiful leaf garland. I'm super happy with the way that this came out. I wanted my fall freebie to be nothing but fall, kind of like staple fall accent elements. I love that. This is the web sampler sheet in silver foiling. So I did purchase the spider and bat tiny sparkles, just in silver foiling. I'm really cute. I like how the design is flipped in each row. So the spiders and the bats are going in different directions. Oh my goodness. Ooh, oh my goodness, you guys. I, I, this is creeping me out. This is like, I'm seriously creeped out by these spiders. Oh my goodness. Like, I'm having issues even holding this sheet right now. Jess, you did a very good job designing these because they look so realistic. I, I hate spiders. Ooh, I can't. <laughs> oh my goodness. I can't believe I'm like literally freaked out by this sheet because these spiders look so real. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so these are the spider decos. I'm just gonna like put that guy over there. Actually, you know what? Let's not put them there because it's creeping me out. We're just gonna like go like that. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't know. I'm like spiders freak me out, and that's very realistic looking. <laughs> oh my goodness! I'm such a loser. All right, I'm moving on. <laughs> These are the creepy trees in the large design. I purchased. Um, all three foils in these because I thought they might work in winter spreads as well. Um, so this is light gold, silver, and rose gold. The creepy tree accents in the smaller size, again, in all three foils so I can incorporate them into some winter spreads. Bat deco. And silver. Oh, and this is all on transparent matte paper. This is the web topper. Really fun. And this is the width of one full box. The small webs. Love how the web design kind of droops there. The web corners. Again, I love the drooping cobweb. Very well designed. And then I purchased the web washi. Really, really pretty. I love cobwebs. See these spiders? Like those spiders don't creep me out. The other guys are just, they're horrifying. I mean, they're definitely gonna go in my Halloween spread, but ooh, I can't. <laughs> okay. All right, <laughs> that's my order from Letters to Apollo. Do we want to flip this guy over? We do. Okay. All right, we'll put him right on top. <laughs> that's my order from Letters to Apollo. This shop is the Pretty Pink Co. I did put Lauren's name in the notes to seller. Her freebie is just so beautiful, very well designed. She has some of the dot dividers, some leaf deco pieces, and then the dotted garlands. Really pretty. 
It's on trans transparent matte paper. I'm not sure if this is the shop's light gold or traditional gold. I know they just changed their light gold. Um, the previous light gold had this green undertone. Um, so I'm not quite sure. Actually, you know what? I do have, so I did order these in gold. So let's see. I don't know. It kind of looks, I think her freebies in gold. So I ordered the spooky trees in all three foil colors. I'm not really sure why I ordered all three foil colors. It looks like I ordered all three for this whole order. I'm not sure. My rationale for foil choices changes on a daily basis. So <laughs> who knows why I, why I decided to order these in all three foil colors. <laughs> Maybe just so I can have some staples in my collection in case I do end up with a rose gold or gold Halloween spread. Maybe, or collection, maybe that's what it was. Um, anyway, okay, so these are the spooky trees. The spooky dividers in all three. And this is definitely the gold. I do want to place an order with the Pretty Prinkle uh, Co. with her new light gold foil to try that out. But this is the gold foil. Really cute. Um, it has the spider hanging down there from the divider. Spooky branches. I'm definitely going to pull these into winter spreads too. Really, really well designed. Um, and then finally, I ordered the flying bat deco in all three foils. All right, and that is my order from the Pretty Pink Co. This shop is Saucy Stickers Co. I now have a discount code with the shop. It's Terra15 to save you 15% off your order. My freebie, I actually don't have it with me yet, but I will pop it up there in the corner of the screen. If you like my freebie, just put my name in the notes to seller. It is on white paper. So you get this really pretty journaling card with your order. It says fear must be faced for growth to take place. And then a very sweet note, um, she does hand letter your name and signs her name. It says, thank you for supporting my small business. Your order means so much to me and I hope this package brings a smile to your face. Happy planning. Don't forget to tag me on Instagram. I love seeing and sharing your posts and creations. Really sweet. So these are the freebies that came with my order. This is the shop freebie here. I mentioned this in my last haul. She has a journaling element sticker that is craft paper and the camera in my last video didn't really pick it up that well, but it legit looks like craft paper. It's that brown textured paper. It's, it's just so beautifully designed. I love it. I also really appreciate that this cut is actually, it's an inset cut, inset, right? Like, or because an offset would be outside the design. So the cut's inside the design. Um, I think I'm making up words now, but anyway. <laughs> so when you peel out the sticker, you're not getting any white space around that torn paper design, which is awesome. These flowers are really pretty. And then you get two watercolor swatches as well. It's not foiled. I'm moving it like it is. <laughs> I put Saskia's name from Pumpkin Plants in the notes to seller. This is her gorgeous freebie. This is an outdated freebie, unfortunately, but I did want to show you because the designs are really pretty. The butterfly with the floral wing, so creative. The color saturation on the paper is beautiful. Wicked, wicked pretty. On to the collection. This is Toil and Trouble. It is foiled in silver foiling. What is super unique about this collection is that the center pieces here in these three full boxes are actually cut. So the center design is contoured cut. How fun is that? Now, if you don't like that, Rebecca also cut out this. So you could still use it as a full box. Now let's see if I can get this back on the page here. There we go. 
And then this design here, I'm not gonna take this fully off because this one might be a little bit tricky to get back on. But the floral and then the skeleton hand is contour cut. And again, the box itself is cut as well. And then the snake design is cut. And if you look, there is like no white space around that snake. So you gotta be very careful peeling it up. Her paper doesn't tear easily. Um, it's not that premium matte, but I wouldn't say it's matte. Like it's a matte paper, but it's not that cheap matte paper. It's very, very nice paper. And what's nice about it is when you have designs that are very contoured cut, you don't have to worry about it ripping because it's not that buttery matte paper. I hope I'm making sense. Um, all right, so I absolutely love the idea of having the designs contoured cut out. For my personal preference, I would, wouldn't would want any more than three contoured cut like that. I think three is the perfect number. I don't think I would want the whole entire uh, collection, like all nine full boxes to be cut like that. But that's just my personal preference. Let's go over the nine full boxes. We already went over these three. The quote box says double, double, toil and trouble, fire burn and conjuring bubble. Love the pumpkin there. And if you look, the pumpkin has some black roses on it. That's really pretty. This guy is super creepy. Love that. I really like the purples and pinks in this collection. You got the bubbles coming out of the conjuring. It's so weird because I, when I shop for Halloween collections, I want creepy. I want creepy Halloween collections. I tend to stay away from pinks, purples, basically this color scheme <laughs> because I want creepy. I want dark and creepy, but this collection is beautiful. She really did a wonderful job of bringing in those pink and purple elements but having a creepy vibe to the collection still. So that's what really drew me to pick up this collection. This full box right here, I am a cardiac nurse and that heart is amazing. I love it. <laughs> love that full box. Um, you have the snake full box, the floral full boxes, that lace pattern. And I'm not really sure if you would call that lace, but that pattern's really pretty. And then you have some labels on the bottom here. Love it. Your second page here, you have your Monday through Sunday day covers. They are square cut. Bow checklist, Monday through Sunday habit trackers. This full box is wonderful. I love that. That spider's creeping me out. Not as much as the letters to Apollo spiders, but <laughs> it is beautifully designed. Your Monday through Sunday full box, some watercolor swatches, some decorative boxes here, some lace half scallops, um, flags, and then some layering circles. Here is your boxes page. You have some half boxes on the bottom, quarter and third boxes, and some midi boxes. Again, love the color scheme. A lot of her boxes have the white out middle, which I know a lot of people are looking for. I like a variation of both. I like the white out boxes, but I also really appreciate the full boxes when it has a watercolor pattern or a scene from the collection. So this is a good balance. This is the bottom washi, absolutely stunning. And here's that really pretty, I'm just gonna call it a lace design. I'm not really sure what kind of design it is. Please forgive me, but this is contoured cut. Let me, I just don't wanna rip the paper. Again, it's not that buttery, buttery premium matte paper that rips easily, but I still wanna be careful really really pretty and then your bottom washi here that's going to look so cute together here let me move this out of the way so we can kind of focus on really really pretty 
I don't know if I'm gonna pull this in as a top strip though. I may put this in uh, like with the day covers. Like I'll put the day covers down and then I'll layer this over the day covers, like or the bottom of the day cover. That's what I might do. Um, you have scallop headers here and then some really, really thin scallop dividers. Your simple line headers, a spider web header, and then your floral headers with some, it's almost like splatter confetti foiling. I love the spider web there, that's really pretty. The silver against the purple is gorgeous. All right, so that is the four page base kit. Let's go over the add-ons. These are the add-ons that you can purchase with the collection. I purchased three, oh, four. That's a little excessive. <laughs> Normally, I only purchase three pages of her floral sheets because they are the larger size. So here is your, you know, the full boxes page, and then here's the size of her floral add-on. So normally I only purchase three. So I might have accidentally, uh, what, what am I saying? Accidentally ordered four. I probably definitely ordered four intentionally. <laughs> um, you have <laughs> multiple bouquets. I adore shops that are now putting in these larger half bouquets. I, it's just so fun to pull those in. You have some clip art pieces, the spider webs, the snake, the little potion bottle, the witch hat. That looks like a crystal and individual floral elements as well. So that is the floral add-on. And then I also purchased the journaling page. That is stunning. I love the black against that pink. I almost wish she had this as that thinner strip of washi. So instead of having this as the thin strip, how cute would it Right, like this be the thin strip and then have that black foiled. Um, okay, so I'm obsessed with that, sorry. <laughs> um, the torn washi strips here, you have a larger half floral bouquet, archway, the snake design, the quote from the collection, again, double, double, toil and trouble, fire burn and conjured bubble, some watercolor swatches, the potions, the torn pages elements. This almost looks like what's, he's not a ghost. He's like that theater ghost from that movie. Oh, what's that movie with the theater ghost? I'm totally drawing a blank. Anyway, <laughs> we're just going to call him the ghost guy. <laughs> um, another torn paper element. And again, it has that cut inside the design so you don't get any white space around. The edges there, really pretty. And this mirror element too, or the, it looks like a, like an iron mirror. That's really pretty. This is the second page for the journaling kit. Some more torn paper elements. The shape is really unique and pretty. I love, love that design against that pink color. Really pretty. Um, you have another strip of that large lace design, some Monday and Sunday day covers. These are contoured cut around the script as well. This is gorgeous. I love that lace design with the floral on top, a skull, the witch hat. Oh, and there's my skeleton hand with the heart. That is so cool. I love it, love it. <laughs> so that is the two page journaling add on the floral add-on, and then the four-page collection. Really, really pretty. And I do know that Rebecca did release, I think, two more collections that have the contoured cut design that's coming out of the full box. So definitely check out the shop if you're interested in that. And that's my order from Saucy Stickers Co. 
This shop is Sadie Stickers. I do have a discount code. It is Terra20 to save you 20% off your purchase. If you put my name in the notes to seller, you will get my new gold fall freebie on transparent matte paper. I don't have one with me, so I will pop it up there in the corner so you can see, but it is all fall related. This was an order I placed, I think about a month and a half ago, two separate orders. So I have two separate freebies. Unfortunately, um, the PR girls freebies that I received, their designs are different now. Um, what I like to do when I order from Sadie Stickers is I absolutely love all of the PR girls freebies. So in the notes to seller, I always write surprise me because <laughs> they're all so gorgeous. Um, so like I mentioned, this is two separate orders and I received Lauren's freebie. Again, unfortunately this is no longer her freebie since we all redesigned ours. And then Francesca's freebie. So I'm gonna put the collection off to the side and we'll go over my order. This is the Spider Cluster Deco in silver foiling. I believe I ordered, yeah, so all of this is in just silver foiling. So the Spider Cluster Deco in silver foiling. And these are creepy too. Like I'm getting creeped out. <laughs> I'm such a loser. Like how can stickers creep you out? I don't know, but these spiders are creeping me out too. Not as bad as the letter to Apollo's one, but definitely these spiders are are creeping me out. So we're gonna, again, we're just gonna flip it over here and there you go, put them off to the side. <laughs> kind of funny, right? That I'm so afraid of spiders, but I'm buying, I'm buying all this spider, like deco elements. <laughs> all right, anyway, I'm moving on. And the spire layered droop garlands. The spider combo garland. Oh, and this is all on transparent matte paper. I am so still intimidated by using garlands in my spread, but I'm trying to get over the intimidation factor and I'm, I'm buying more garlands. So, I mean, I guess practice makes perfect, right? The hanging spider webs, uh, hanging spider web spiders. I love that, the spider web design there. The hanging spider webs. Spider web abstract corners. I think it was last year. A lot of shops just came out with spider webs in the corner, and the design was not very abstract. So I'm I was so excited this year to see all the abstract spider webs. It just looks so much more realistic. Spider web halves. Spiderweb Deco. I am all set, you guys, for the spiderwebs. Spiderweb frames. Bat Cluster Deco. The branches. I really like that. I'm kind of bummed I didn't order them in all three foils because I could have pulled these into winter spreads. The branch corners, these are awesome. These almost look like thorns to me. The small spooky trees. Again, I'm bummed I didn't order these in all three, all three foils. Halloween mini frames. I did order these on white paper so I can write um, whatever I need to in the box there. And then the spider web with spiders washi garland. This is so pretty. Oh, I'm getting freaked out with the spiders again. <laughs> oh my goodness, you guys. I don't know what my deal is this year with spiders. It's like really freaking me out. <laughs> oh goodness, okay. We're just gonna put that one upside down. <laughs> Sorry. Um, Alicia also designed these <laughs> amazing journaling spider webs on transparent matte paper and I was super excited. I almost ordered two sheets but I controlled myself and I ordered a one. And I wanna just, they're very, very contoured cut so I don't wanna, 
like rip the paper here. Oh my goodness, that's gonna look so cool. I love it. Oh, I'm so excited, you guys. Look how cool this design is. I love it. Oh, and then there's a spider. It's funny how afraid of spiders I am, but I think they're like so cool for Halloween. <laughs> Um, also released was the black watercolor swatches on transparent paper. Really pretty. I am also a little intimidated to pull these into my spreads. I have a couple from Rose Color Days that they've just been hanging out in my collection. I'm intimidated to use them, but I just, I gotta get over the intimidation factor. But I'm really happy I purchased these because I'm definitely gonna be pulling these into the Halloween collection I purchased. So let's move on to that. The collection that I purchased is entitled Haunting. It is in silver foil. Absolutely stunning. I will be using this the week of Halloween and then the Saucy Stickers co-collection uh, co the week before. This collection is so creepy and I love it. <laughs> it's beautiful and haunting at the same time. I'm, I'm so excited to see how this is going to look in my planner. If you were to ask me, like what is my favorite full box? I couldn't tell you because if the attention to detail is amazing. Like, so this fireplace box right here, look, you have like a stack of bones in the corner and then the spider on the pumpkin. So cute. And then like foil cat walking through the forest. You have your three floral boxes with um, the florals outlined. Oh, look how pretty that is. The chandelier with the spiders and like the droop garland. Really pretty. Oh my goodness, look at this full box. <gasps> the crow's like eating human remains. <laughs> Told, he, the crow's definitely not eating human remains. <laughs> but I like how Alicia put some foiling, like a foil cluster there so fun um <laughs> you have your foot i i love halloween <laughs> can you tell <laughs> um and your foil bats the foiled uh tree in the corner there i love this ballerina dress with the foiling the quote box says there is something haunting in the light of the moon so pretty and, and then you have some labels the watercolor labels I'm so excited to use this collection. All right, um, you have your scallop half um, labels, some half boxes, quarter boxes, and third boxes, and mini boxes. Your third page, you have your confetti foiling headers, the floral headers, the line headers. Absolutely stunning. I love the watercolor in all three of the headers. I'm a huge fan of watercolor in my collections to begin with. Your Monday through Sunday full box, you have a bow full box, your Monday through Sunday uh, habit trackers, some flags, some layering elements, bow checklist. Really pretty. The gorgeous, gorgeous bottom washi with the spider webs. I'm trying to pick that up on my lights here. There we go. And then the florals, the florals again are outlined in silver foiling. There we go. There's the foil shot. <laughs> and let's see how this looks. This is going to look amazing with all the spiders and the spider webs, like all the accents. And then that's going to look amazing. I'm so excited. I love Halloween. Okay. Your Monday through Sunday day covers. You have some more boxes here, some thin, um, thin headers, and then your scallop headers, like your thin line headers here. So that is the four page base kit. And now we will move on to the add-ons. So I did purchase the journaling sheet, torn washi strips. You have that gorgeous chandelier, some bat that's cool. The bats are really cool, you guys. I love that. I wish there was more. I love, love the bats. The crows, the pumpkin with the spider on it, the ballerina dress, the bones. 
And then all your layering, watercolor elements, the archway here. Love the stamp there with the forest scene in the fireplace. Oh, that's going to be fine because you can use this to create your own like fireplace scene in your spread. That's going to be fun. And then I did purchase four <laughs> floral add-ons. Four seems to be my number lately. These florals are so unique. I'm super excited to see how I'm going to work these into the spread. Because they're floral bouquets, but it's just such a unique floral design. And you're not your typical floral bouquet. That is the Halloween collection that I will be using this year. I'm super, super excited. I'm so excited. That is everything for this video. I hope you enjoyed. If you celebrate Halloween, I would love to know what Halloween accents you purchased, your Halloween collection that you purchased. Comment below. I would love to hear from you. As always, thank you so much for watching. I greatly appreciate all the likes and comments. I hope you have a wonderful day and a very spooky Halloween. <laughs> Bye guys.